in every tournament we have dito sa Philippine Basketball Association, merong mga certain games na binibilugan ng lahat ng basketball fans. The must-watch games, the can't-miss ball games, e eh, ito na, dumating na nga sa ating lahat dito sa loob ng Smart Araneta Coliseum. It is Manila Classico featuring Big Game James Yap and the rest of the Sandwich Coffee Mixers taking on the reigning MVP, Mark the Spark Agiwa and the rest of Barangay Hinebra San Miguel. Ito nga po, Governor's Cup edition ng ating Manila Classico. Live na live mapapanood dito sa IBC. Mag-umarch po, kasama natin si Jason Webb. It's one of those nights, it's one of those special moments in basketball. You know, you have the two teams that uh, undoubtedly really pull in the most crowd and uh, although right now it's a bit of a struggle para sa dalawang kopo na nato when you look at the standings but in this type of format na talagang naman sinasabi natin it's a sprint this game has more um, uh, mas, mas kinakailangan ng dalawang kopo na nito itong laro na to lalo lalo na both of them under 500 at the moment speaking of kinakailangan eh yung mga superstar na magkabi ng kopo na eh talagang kakailangan nilang bumumba sa ball game na ito para nga makuha yung ikatlong panalo Mark Kagiwa on, in his last game against Air 21 actually had 20, 20 points and that was actually his conference high and nice thing about it he shot very well same thing para kay James Yap. James Yap also turning the corner this conference. Had, it, had 22 points, also a conference high. So in dalawang superstars natin, galing sila sa best performance nila of the conference so far. So here we go. The table is now set. San Mikobi contra Barangay Ginebra San Miguel. You see the starters on your screen. You have heard the reaction of this mammoth crowd inside the big dome. And for the second consecutive game, Jason Mark the Spark Aguila is going to be coming off the bench para sa Ginebra. Why, why pick something that isn't broken para sa Barangay Ginebra in their last game? Nanalo sila with this lineup kung saan hindi nag-start si Mark Tagiwa. So they're gonna go with that same lineup again. Elter Brand gets it over to Tenorio. Barangay Nebra getting first crack at the basket. They dump it down low to Dior Lohorn. Tenorio leaner. Doesn't work. Ellis battling for it. Ambala. But what a way to start the Manila Classico. Right on top of Marcus Blakely. And this in that crowd is the defense on the part of uh, San McCoffey Mixers, not allowing LA to actually see some daylight in the paint. Yancey anchoring that triangle. Para dito si San McCoffey. Mamarel keeping an eye on him. Yancey, gusto mo matawas. Reach in the Helter Brand, but Braso Kasama. We remember guys like Yancy Del Campo, a little bit of uh, Maliksi, Rafi Rivas, all these guys, maybe even Jerwin Gako. Very important to coach them to get some decent minutes off of them. Because remember, two of the premier big men of San Mikofi unavailable tonight. Lately underneath, Yancy is fouled and will through to the line for two shots. How about Marcus Blakely, Jason? This is a, an import para dito sa San Mikobi who leads their team in points, rebounds, assists, blocks, and steals. Eh, wala nga si Ping, wala nga si Devance. May mapipiga pa ba dito? O oh, yun na yun, talagang yung monster numbers niya, eh, kailangan, kailangan lang talaga. I remember that Marcus Blakely actually started, the, uh, or San Mikobi rather, started this conference without Mark Pingris. So, Marcus Blakely can come up with the numbers, but 
they're going to need some help from other people as well. I mean, he can he can have more points today and rebounds and all that, but then they need more. As Ali Denorio makes it 4-0, Del Campo couldn't get Sandvik on the board. Magliari will launch a three. Back irons that one. JJ taps it off the board. Here comes Inabra. Denorio on the move. Switching to the left hand is fouled. Perfect start para sa Barangay Hinebra. You can see that they're starting with a lot of energy in today's game. Really punctuated by that dunk by Chris Ellis earlier. So L8 Tenorio coming off that 18.7 rebound, 14 assist performance. Netong nakaraan sa Cuneta. Gets his third point of the game as we take a look at this photon strong drive. El Etenorio din ang bida dito. Brought to you by Photon. Empower your business. LA now has four of the six points para sa Barangay Nebra. Iniindan niya pa rin oh, yung kanang na sleeve niya dahil may tama nga siya sa kanang siko. Uh, it's upsetting when, when you're a player and you have your, your any part of your body taped. Tapos mararamdaman mo yung tape na tatanggal. And that's exactly what's happening with LA at, on that... Uh, right arm of his. Low horn sa kabilang dulo. Nice pass from Tenorio. And Barangay Nebra could not have started this game any better. 8-0 na nasa ating talaan, Jason. Like we said, para sa Barangay Nebra, perfect start for them. There's a few things that's missing para dito sa San Mig Coffee. One is their transition defense. That's a number of points already para dito sa Barangay Nebra on transition. The other thing is you can see that the energy para sa Barangay Hinebra much higher than that of San Mig Coffee. And when you talk about energy para sa San Mig Coffee, it's always about Mark Pingrich. So very early on, nararamdaman na kaagad ng San Mig Coffee yung pagkawala ni Mark Pingrich. So bukod dito sa 13 points and almost 10 rebounds na pinaproduce ni Pingrich per game, ang kailangan ma-fill up nga nila no? kung sino yung magbubuwis buhay para dito sa mixers. We take a look, napaka-importante talaga na bakbaka na to. Updated team standings, Petron only a loss to show, but then they're in the middle. Talaga nagkakagulo dun sa gitna. Magu 2 and 3 for both San Mig Coffee and Barangay Ginebra. Remember, that 9th team right there, Global Court, which lost today, is at 2 and 4. So the team that loses today will be tied for that 8th uh, and ninth spot. 8 nothing on the board. San Mig hindi pa rin makabutas dito sa loob ng Big Dome. Magliari looking for that opening. Goes to the right side. Magliari looking to drop it off. Del Campo back to Magliari. Reverse. No. Ellis for the rebound. Tumatakbo na naman ang Minebra. Minebra has done a good job of not allowing James Yap to touch the basketball in this uh, first quarter. Grabe yung denial, ano? As Tenorio gets it to Mamaril. The stretch doesn't work, pero meron ng goaltending yeah, dahil nahablot yung ring. That's yeah, offensive right? interference or defensive interference. You can see Alain Malik Maliksi, he jumps up and he grabs the ring. Ah, hindi nga pe pwede yun dahil nandudun pa sa ibabaw yung bola. So 10-0 na ang nasa ating talaan. James Yap finally with a leather. Taken away by Mamaril. Yung pasa niya. Mamaril to LA. On the move. Ellis. Binigay pa ni Tenorio. The reason why LA Tenorio right now is number one in the league in assists. Para kay LA. Second assist of the ball game. Better than nine dimes per outing. Etong si Tenorio. Tenorio to lead everybody. Here in the Governor's Cup. Malik C. Is it his time to shine? Couldn't get them on the board. Yancy sa ilalim na traffic. Finally, para sa San Miguel Coffee. Hey, Yancy De Ocampo, he's going to be the biggest guy on the floor every time he's playing. And he has to find a way to show that then and to prove that that height means something. Lohorn will launch a three. Couldn't send it home. Malyari para sa rebound. San Miguel Coffee on the move. Malyari looking to take advantage. Malik C against Lohorn now. Couldn't get the up and under. They go to James on that right side. Pull up jumper. Sobra. Rebound battle. Napulot ng inabra. Four on three. Tenorio going to the hole. Kicking it out. And JJ will wait for his teammates. Hello. Hello. 
Elder Brand launches from deep. Put says it. Gotta respect that shot. You can see that Marcus Blakely not even a hand up when the uh, JJ Helter Brand. Remember, JJ Helter Brand, one time MVP. Valencia well, on that left side. Sinalubong ni Mamarel. Will have to earn his points from the line. Maliksi taking care of the first as we invite everybody to get a Petron Value card. Petron Value card, pay with points, save your cash. Two for two, Paradito Galen. Let's see if these four points can finally settle down Sam McGoffey. Ellis flashing, receiving. Mamaril, Gustum Pumoste. Ngayon mamimigay ng pick. Ellis against two, gets it over to Billy Moms. Pasa niya na tamik. Helterbrand fancies it over to L.A. Getting the foul from Barroca. And Coach Tim Cohn is all over the official. May have a point as Coach Tim Cohn. You can see that L.A. is actually the one that creates the contact. See Coach Tim Cohn as L.A. is at the line for two shots. Let's take a look at it again after this make by L.A. See what happens here. Good initial defense on the part of Barroca. Well, actually, it's a good call. Dahil Nakita natin to Nelly able to get his hands underneath the arm of Mark Barocco. So good call on the part of the referee. Yun yung veteran moves, you know. Pag nakita mong nakasundot na sa'yo, nasa ilalim ka at nakapayo, iangat mo lang sigurado bibito, you know. 17-4 is the score in this blitzing start by Barangay Hinebra. Leo Campo with the leather gets it over to James Yap. The one-hander from the elbow is fouled. Elis ang napituan. James Yap missing his first two attempts from the field. Might just get his range here. Pintis din yung una from the line. Sad McCoffey not helping themselves with their free throw shooting. Pangatlong pintis na yan mula sa free throw line. By James is good. That tolls them within 12. Limang minuto mahigit pa lang naman na lumilipas. Elderbrand now playing point. PJ Simon deployed by Coach Tim. To try and keep an eye on him. Elderbrand pull up jumper. Too strong. Rebound Blakely. Marcus looking to go coast to coast. Blakely in trouble. Gets it to James. Back out to Yancey. 16-footer doesn't work. Lohar taps it over to Tenorio. L.A. on the move. Gets it to Billy Moms. The left-handed layup is good. Good setup on the part of L.A. Tenorio to get it to Billy Mamaril. And Billy also credit him for finishing with the left. Oh, nice sidestep by Blakely. He's hammered, though, on the way to the hole. And this should send us to our first mandatory timeout of the game. 19-5 in the score, Barangay Nebra, Abante ng 14. Si Erika Padilla, ate ng makakakwentuhan sa aming pagbabalik. Ang IBC, matapos lumabas ang sintensya na hindi makakapaglaro ngayong gabi si Mark Fingers at si Joe DeVance, nagkaroon pa rin ng magagandang practices ang Sammy Coffee Mixers kasama nila. Although hindi matatawaran ang magagandang contributions ng star players, it's a good opportunity for other players to step up like Yancey, Leo, Jewel, and Jerwin. Although it's a challenge for the coaching staff na i-maneuver ang mga available na players, still, they feel confident because of their recent win. Balik sa inyo, guys. Thank you, Erica. Somewhere in this building, Miko Halili is all smiles. Binanggit mo na kaninang kakailangan ni Sigako. Binanggit din ni Erica na kailangan Sigako. You know, para di, you know, you get some opportunities, lalong-lalo na. And it's opportunity para kay Jerwin because you have two guys that actually play the same position which are going to be both unavailable. Oh. Irbul yung pangalawa para dito kay Blakely. And this free throw shooting has been suspect all tournament long. So 
So at the halfway mark, or past the halfway mark of this opening quarter, Barangay Nebra is ahead by 13 points. Another brand. Gets it to the other side, Tenorio to a low horn pick, pulls up in front of Yancy. Tenorio slaps it, but to the wrong man. Simonan di discarte dito sa kabilang dulo. Baronga on that corner, Mamarillo on him. Going back to Simon, he pulls up for a three. PJ didn't hit it. Ito si PJ, no? inaabangan niya ng lahat ng Sandwood Coffee Planet na pumutok na. He is now 1 of 10 here in the Governor's Cup from that 3-point line. Such a key, such a key magbuka ng Sandwood Coffee because they're looking for other guys to score for them. Lalong lalo from that wing position. And uh, PJ just not getting it uh, consistently done for his team at the moment. Yap, tumanggap. Foul in the act. Count those two. Para-para na lang para dito kay James Yap. See, James Yap has to spin the opposite way. Grabbed on one hand. Here's the whistle. And then, you know, just that, that's the good thing, di ba? Pag narinig mo yung pito, tira mo na lang. Grabe yung footwork, ano? He lost his balance, pero nailundag niya. Hindi niya nagawa yung pangatlong step, kaya hindi traveling yun. And it helped that he's healthy. You know, he really put in a lot of work during the off-season. And if you go to last conference, something that he wouldn't be able to do, lalo lalo na likod yung problema niya. Mabasa sa buong abante ng mga nakabuti ng Ginebra. Elder Brand on the catch from Wilson. Gets it underneath the low horn. Now dropping Patlo Kamuyog. LA has to bail them out. Good to shoot. LA realizes it. Puts it up. No good. Pero bola bumalik din kay Lohorn. Wilson gets the back out two points. It's the locals that's really putting in the points right now because both teams have done a good job on the imports. So the imports have to find another way to, to help the Erlohorn helping there with that assist. Yap once again. This time he spins the right way. Gets the bounce. Anim na puntos na sa bakbaka na ito para dito kay James Yap. Legal pick whistled on Wilson. Sabay talaga reaction, ano? Alam nyo na kung sino yung barangay Nebra doon, alam nyo rin kung sino yung taga-planeta ng Santi Coffee. So the fast and the furious on the floor together, Blakely fouled before the attempt. Pangatlo na to para dito kay Wilson. Yeah, that hurts because Wilson is one of those guys that actually has the build and the quickness to be able to match up with Blakely in that Hinebra side. There's a lot of guys that may have the same height, but Wilson is the only guy that can match up with Blakely's strength. And with still over four minutes remaining in this opening frame, penalty na ang Barangay Hinebra. Actually got to it very early about the five minute and change mark. Sammy Coffey, dadalawa pa lang ang team foul. Pero Wilson now left on the floor by Coach Ato with three personal fouls. Sammy now within eight. Nagiwa first touch of the leather. Wilson against Blakely. Gets it to Helterbrand. JJ for a long one. Not this time around. Grievous over the Baronga. Tumatakbo si Simon. Ingalang malinis yung pagkakasalo. Blakely looking for that fourth person on Wilson. Wilson couldn't do anything. He knows that he has three personal fouls. Had to play super clean defense. And Marcus Blakely taking full advantage at the post. Marcus Blakely too big, too strong, two points. Manila Classico Edition pa. Pati ang ating mga kapatid. Over on radio, eh, excited na excited. Benji Santiago, Eric Reyes over at DZSR 918 Sports Radio. Nasalamatan na rin natin ang ating mga partners sa 90.7 na radio, 101.1 Yes FM, 96.3 EC Rock. Nice play. Nice play. Okay. And a nice pass coming from Mark Kagiwa. One of the things that Mark really wanted to, to see with his team is good passing. And here is good passing that start, actually starts from him, really Wilson is just going to be too strong para kay PJ Simon at the post. Mark Aguila averaging four assists per ball game in this tournament so far. 
Getting his first one there. Wilson completes that three-point play. Alex Asham, ang kailangan po na yun dito ng Sam McCoffey. Biggest lead of the game was 14. Maroka on the move. The one-hander on the run. But Maroka, actually one of the guys for Sam McCoffey, it's actually played very well for the minutes that he's had. He's close to five points, five rebounds and five assists on average in this conference in under 25 minutes a game. Barakael, now part of the five. Para sa inyo, I can sit over to Wilson. Back to Barakael. Gustong amakin sa poste si James Stu to shoot. The one hand that doesn't work. Rebound po pulutin ni Blakely. Tumatakbo ang Sammy Covey. Blakely, no looks at the Ravis. Nice up fake for the flyby. Faking Barakael out of his socks. One of the things that Marcus Blakely does or gives itong Sammy Covey very good at transition defense or in transition offense para dito sa Sunmig Coffee because tumutulong siya, itulak yung bola kasama ng mga kampi niya. Wilson on that left side, waiting for Kagiwa. Orbistondo sumalo, three to shoot. Somebody's got to put it up. Lohorn, not even a winner. Napotokan sila, from 24. Coach Atom at this point really sees that his team is struggling offensively not the first time that they've been close to getting a 24 second violation. No ping risk, no problem, sabi ng mga taga San Big Planet. Bakit nga naman hindi, nakabalik na sila to within 5 points. Follow the NCAA and PBA like never before. Get real-time updates straight from your phone with Pinoy Hoops. Be the ultimate Hoops fan and follow your favorite teams and players. Now available for Android in the Google Play Store and soon on iOS. Actually, I downloaded it on iOS. Pinoy Hoops, search it lang po. Ako meron ako sa Android. Oo, dahil kasama na, no? Maalaman nyo ngayon. Ako lang po na lang, data plan. PJ Simon with a pull-up. No good. Very quiet first quarter para kay DR Lohorn. And usually he's been a fast starter para sa Barangay Ginebra. Urbis Tondo contra dito kay Barangayel. Gets it over to Barangayel. Er, Baroka pala kanina yung kalaban. Here's Lohorn underneath. Oh, tabay na mo! The defense of Sam McCoffey making the difference here. Look at P.J. Simon hustle for that one. Quickly underneath. Couldn't get the basket. That'd be the fourth on Willie Wilson. The gamble backfires. Look at the initial defense. Even better help defense for Larry Marcus Blakely. A Preston defensive stop of the game natin yan. Brought to us by Preston Brake Fluid. Persevere, breaking action, and safety. Sigurado, nasa mabuti kang kamay. Magu dito palang simula palang. Ready problems with the big men. Off barangay in every turn of self. Foul trouble. Billy Mamarel comes back. He has two. Willie Wilson goes to the bench. He has four. Twenty-four, twenty. Sam McGovey has chopped ten off the deficit from earlier on. Iwan di discarte para sa Inebra. Gets it over to Lohorn. Lohorn gathers himself for the bank shot. Apat na punto sa laro para dito kay Dior. Another good assist there on the part of uh, Barangay Hinebra. I believe that was Mark Tagiwa. And as a whole, Barangay Hinebra sharing the ball very well. Already seven assists in this first quarter compared to only two para dito sa San Oh, Look at the footwork display there by Marcus Blakely. To keep them within four. Grabe yung recovery dito ng Sammy Coffey after that amazing start by Barangay Ginebra. Now Aguiwa is at the post, kicks it out. Urbistondo for the long one. No good. DR Lohorn, rebound, put back. Ayaw. Rebound battle na kanino, natulog pa lang ni Aguiwa. Aguiwa on the move, gets it out to Barangayel. Couldn't pull the trigger. Urbistondo will. No. And the ball will remain for Ginebra. It's a good look para sa Barangay Ginebra. They're, they're allowing themselves right now to move the basketball 
and see and get the best available shot, best available open shot. Last shot of the first quarter doesn't go. So John Magtatapos ang unang labing dalawang minuto ng action after being down by as much as 14. Sam McCoffey battling back. Apat na lang ang inaabos. Three rebounds, an assist, and a big block na ang pinoproduce nitong Mr. Everything ng Sam McCoffey. Dito mo naman, ano? Siya talaga ang bumobomba all tournament long para dito sa Mixers. And he will even have to extend himself even more tonight in the absence of Mark Pingris and Joe Devans. 26-22 na sa ating talaan. Barangay Nebra once up by 14 points. Has it chopped now to 4. At ayan nga po, no? Itong si Blakely. Napakaganda na ng pinapakita. Mag-umarja po kasama natin si Jason Webb together with Erica Padilla and the rest of the Sports 5 crew inside the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Sa aming espesyal na handog ng Manila Classico para sa inyong Super Bowl Sunday, dito lang sa IBC. Malik C. In trouble. Jump ball should be called here. Between him and Baraka L. May rafer, pinasok na dito ni Bocciato dahil binanggit mo na nga kanina, foul trouble yung front line ng Inebra. And you can get away with playing Rico in this game because you look at the uh, big men of San Mikov, especially now, Rafi Rivas, he's not really one of those guys that will pound you at the post. So, pwedeng pwede siya dito para kay uh, Makalari John. Blakely launches a three. Bang! So, saw it earlier. He is Mr. Do Everything. He is a 40% shooter from that distance. Blakely gets them to within one. Barangay Nebra. Under pressure here. Long two. Mintis. Alexi with that leather. Kasama niya sina Simon, Blakely, Rivas, and Baroka. They turn it over though. Lowhorn gets it over to Urbistoldo. Andiyan niya si Kagiwa para kay Ellen Meyerhofer. Lowhorn from Kagiwa. Nilawa ng ring. Oh, pero nabuhay. Kagiwa. Nasundot yung bola. Lowhorn. Puto pa na naman. Oh, watch out, Jason. Hindi pinigay ni PJ Simon. Ay, kailangan din ni PJ Simon yung scoring niya eh. San Mikkovi lumamang na dito wow and Barangay Nebra turns it over once again well, the post now if you're Barangay Nebra that's a number of times that you're actually uh, nakikita natin na nagmamadali Marcus Blakely Mr. Do Everything gets a three point shot here and then right after that PJ Simon walk in the park to try and re-establish some semblance of order. Nari deploy ni Coach Ato Agustin. Ito si L.A. Tenorio. P.J. jumps out to offensive nobody. Offensive foul. That's an offensive foul on Malik Sir. Good substitution on the part of Coach Ato. You can see right now na nawawala yung forma ng Barangay Ginebra. Nagmamadali. Hindi naman kailangan magmadali. He gets back or puts back the guy that is really uh, um, the, the catalyst para sa Barangay Ginebra in terms of setting up their offense. Yun ang alam, bumalik si L.A. Tenorio. Nagkawintang-wintang sila eh, no? Nung si Urbis Tondo ang naglaro in the tail end of that first quarter. Let's see how they react down by one point. Kagiwa contra Simon. Kagiwa fishing for the foul. Couldn't get the basket, pero may dalawang free throw parating para sa kanya. Kagiwa gets his first point of the game as we send it over to Erica. Very evident that pagiging vocal ni Mark being one of the veterans of the teams. His outs of the team, his outspokenness is just a, is not just about him talking, but also includes him reminding the rest to tell him and the others as well kung anong dapat mangyari to execute ng mabuti. Sinabi at pangaraw niya si LA to always remind him to relax because that's what they need to not be too emotional, especially kapag importante ang laro. Balik sa inyo. Yung binabanggit mo kanina, no? the Hinebra needing to settle down here. And that's why, you know, guys like Mark Kagiwa, although they're veterans, you know, they're willing to listen to guys like uh, the other veterans on the court. Davis with a pull up. No go. Firehopper, kinalawit pa rebound contra dito kay Jervin Gago. Kagiwa went 
two for two from that free throw line. Gets it over to Mamaril. Scoop shot doesn't work. Rebound battle. Barroca out rebounding Rico Meyerhofer. Kako in the lane. Fouled by Mark Kagiwa. Good job on the part of the San Coffee players. Realizing there's actually five of them. Only four on the part of Barangay Hinebra that went down. And that put the pressure on Mark Kagiwa. And even to Ilalem had to give up that foul. Maliksi finally gets it over to Baroka. Baroka lines up the three. No good. I may have missed that one, but has actually done a fine job quarterbacking. But it's suddenly coffee. Is Mark Baroka. Kagiwa. Crossover doesn't work. He splits two defenders. Kagiwa to the rack. Got over a big rebound. Baroka Deep Sabilandulo is fouled by Meyerhofer. Oh, Chato going small here. Helper brand, Barangay Barangay El. As James Shap likewise checks back in. Papalito naman si PJ Simon. James contra Pagiwa. Jumps it out. Baroka has five to work with. Baroka has to put one up. Couldn't bail them out. Meyerhofer for that board. Elton Ram to Tenorio on the run. Eledo looking to settle things down. Dina Mai Pagpag, etong si Maliksi. Pasa niya, hindi nasa lo ni Mamaril. Right now, it's the defense of San Miguel Coffee that's really dictating and putting pressure on Barangay Hinebra. Number of turnovers already para sa Hinebra. Dito sa quarter na to after having a very fairly clean game in terms of turnovers in the first quarter. Oh, offensive foul. Nakita dito kay Yancy as L.A. Tenoria hit the deck. So it's still 28-27. Barangay Hinebra by one point. Tenorio to Kagiwa. Mamaril on the move. Dalawa kalaban na ilang. You see that Hinebra, but it's uh, suddenly Kobe just trapping Mark Kagiwa every time there's a pick and roll. Really forcing the ball out of his hands. James spins. Fade away doesn't work. Rebound battle. Napulot pa ni Maliksi. But it's taken away by Hunter Brand. JJ na magtitimon dito sa atake na ito. Now gets it over to Mamaril. 10 seconds on that Tinebra shot lock. Mamaril with a surprise jumper. That's oh, a good shot right there. Para kay Billy Mamaril. Even his teammates unaware that he was going to go for that one. Kako contra Meyerhofer. Looking to spin baseline. Yancy looking for Baroka. It ends up with Malik C. The 17 foot jumper is good. Actually, both teams right now struggling with their half court offense. Ever since Lumabas yung dalawang import natin, you can see that the scoring has slowed down. 29 28, Sam McCoffey with her second taste of the lead. Helter Brand jumps it out. LA for three. Doesn't work. Malik C on the run. Alain. Taking it to the rack, gets the basket, and pushes Sanding up by three. Reason why Alain Maleksi is actually with San Vicovic, they, they want another guy that can actually score for them, especially in that second unit. And right now, with this second unit, he's really helping with the last two baskets. Mamaril, masyadong mababa yung pasa niya kapag ni Kagiwa. All goes back to Sammy Kobe. Turnovers na naman, Jason. That's a turnovers para na dito sa Barangay Hinebra. Not helping them and letting Maliksi. Making it very difficult para dito sa Barangay Hinebra. From the outside, as well as all the way to the basket. James mula sa kanto. Ayoko magat ni Kagiwa sa jab step fake niya. Maliksi nang didiscard ni Dito. He's whistled for the offensive foul. Nasa lo ni Helter Brand. You see ko niya. You may 
make up your own times. I cannot see it. I cannot judge. 31-28. Barangay Nebra down by three. Lokhorn in the paint. It's fouled. Giving that dimension again is Barangay Ginebra for Pasco New York Lohorn. Now they have again a post presence, something that they didn't have or they don't have every time the Harpo is in New York Lohorn. Mayor Hoffer is going to go back to Mamaril. Labinaapat na segundo na titira sa shot clock na itong Ginebra. Kagiwa na titiscarte sa kapilang dulo. To Lohorn. Split to defenders. Gets the basket because of a foul. And here's the difference. When they run that pick and roll and it's Billy Mamaril. Right here, you can see this pick and roll. When it's Billy Mamaril, when he gets the ball, it doesn't really have an offensive repertoire to be able to pose a threat to a San Mig Coffee. This time around, it's Kagiwa and Lohorn. And when Lohorn gets the ball, you know that he can do something good with a basketball. Pakibalita na rin tayo dito kay Erga. Ngayon lang naramdaman ni Dior ang impact ng Manilang Klasiko. Kaya naman he's excited because of an even match that will determine where they're at. He feels pretty good about himself delivering where he's needed. Pero aminado daw siya that he has to be quicker as the extra runs he does after practice. Kailangan din daw niya yun to make more rebounds and to execute defense quickly and effectively. But he's thankful that there's no so much pressure because everybody in Ginebra delivers. Balik sa inyo. Thank you. Erga Maliksi now with 8 points in this contest. No horn from the outside. Gets those 2 points. Babasa isang abate na San Mig. Just 5 minutes remaining in this first half. Maliksi na naman. Helper brand on him. He feels he has the advantage. Pull up jumper doesn't work. Tatama kay Mayor Hopper in bola bago lumabas to sa baseline. Malyari nagbalik na sa ating laro. Blakely engaging Meyerhofer. Foul whistled on Rico. It's a tough matchup para kay Rico. Lalo-lalo na pag inaararo na siya sa ilalim ni Marcus Blakely. Para use some guile if you're Rico. Every team, siguro doon sa pangalawang bangga, kailangan. Yap now with a total of 9 points, 36-32. No horn deep position. Traveling now before that attempt. The ball goes back to San Mikami. That's turnover number. Is that 12 or 7 para dito? Sa Hinebra. Seventh, fifth on the fifth in this quarter, if I'm not mistaken. Blakely once again. Atalas this time around. Tenorio sa kabilang dulo. LA to Rico. The left hand to play up. No good. Deo Campo for the board. Tumatakbo sa Amy Covey. Malyari against Kagiwa. He skies. And reverse foul. Transition offense. Off San Mig Coffee in full swing. Lalong lalo na dito sa second quarter. San Mig Coffee down by 14 at the onset of this contest. Now sitting on a six point lead. Kagiwa to Tenorio. Malyari on him. LA wanting that space, five to shoot. Tenorio on the move, puts one up, the loop for words. The degree of difficulty on that shot is up there, way up at around 10. But LA finding a way for his team. That was a much needed, uh, much, those were much needed two points para sa Barangay Ginebra. Blakely to Malyari. Lohorn switching out, they go back to Blakely. And LA Tenorio sacrifices his body. Eli Tenorio at this point making it, having an effect on both ends of the court. Alex Bagliari not bad on his part as well, going all the way to the basket for two points. Pero bawi naman kagat sa kabila si Eli Tenorio. Back in 
inside the big dome. Kusan si silipin natin. Etong proud son ng Kaloocan. Ang bagong timpla para si San Migobi. Kita mo naman yung Alin Maliksi, ano? 18 and 9 kontra sa Global Court. And here tonight, he has definitely made his presence felt. Yung ambag niya, napakaganda na. I mean, look at this team. You look at what the needs that they have. Because PJ Simon is not producing what his user, usual numbers, they're looking for a guy that can be that spark. You know, he play, doesn't have to play a lot of minutes, but he should be a guy that should be able to contribute in a big way. Alain Meliksi, so far, you can see eight points and doing a job in terms of offense. Somebody got teed up during that timeout. Blakely, ang napito ng technical, pero Mark Kagiwa couldn't make them pay. Might be a big technical, remember. Gotta stay away from those, those, those cheap points that we need to get But more importantly, from those technicals, you never know what's gonna happen in, in the course of the game, and you might pick up another one. Kagiwa with a pull up. Doesn't work contra dito kaya. Underneath, Lohorn. Hule. Lohorn barren. This time around, merong foul. Ito si Blakely, Mr. Everything na San Mikobi. Ito si Lohorn. Apat ang kalaban doon. Walang problema. Hindi natatako. Talagang nagigipagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagp
Runs into LA. That's a blocking foul on Tenorio. That's interesting that actually Marcus Blakely still goes up for the shot because if he actually goes up for the shot, it's better for the Barangay Nedra because he only shoots 30% from the free throw line. 11 and 4 so far. 50% shooting from the line. Make that 4 of 9. Now, this is going to be, might be a key para sa Barangay Ginebra. They put in Mac Barakael, and they're going to see for the last 50 seconds. Let's see if they're going to put Mac on Blakely. And if he can defend Blakely, it makes them a, a much more, it makes them a better offensive team because he can spread the floor better at that four spot. Lalatan yung primary defender ni Blakely na si Willie Wilson. Apat na ang personal foul dito. He's been sitting the majority of this first half. See, LA really likes it when Lohorn is the guy that he plays the pick and roll with. Lohorn looking to clean this up. Pero ilang mitis na yan ito Lohorn sa ilalim. Simon looking to settle things down. Sorry misses. That's about the third miss in the last minute para kay D.R. Lohorn. 43-40. Sandwich by three. Slight differential between the quarter clock and shot clock. Oh, and Adela Simagliari. Ellis ends up with it. It's a two-on-one. Ababu. Oh, it's a big thing in the layup there. Last shot time. Oh, in the end of the Blakely. And that'll do it for the first half. What a first half. What an entertaining first half. Doesn't matter if you're a Sunday Coffee fan. Doesn't matter if you're a Barangay Ginebra fan. This one was a great game in terms of just being a PBA fan. Magbabao ng tatlong punto sa kalamangan ng San Miguel Coffee here at the half stand. Bay lang kayo, the Sports 5 Center is coming up. Pero bago yan, meron tayong feature mula sa Petrol. Nakay, meron ko ba itong Petrol Value Card? Oo naman. Nakapagpapulta na ako dito na libre. Gamit ang poison na ipon ko. Natuwa nga ako eh. Nakakawa ng discount dahil dito sa Petron Value Card. Actually, kaya ako medyo na late eh. Nasira na ako ng sasakyan. Buti na lang may free towing service ang Petron Value Card na yan. Magugustuhan niya ni Mrs. dahil may mga shopping discounts sa mga partner shops. Ang alam ko, may free personal accident insurance din. Kaya napakagaling talaga ang Petron Value Card. Covered kaya ang injury sa basketball? <laughs> so guys, Punta na sa pinakamalapit na Petron Station and get this awesome card. Petron Value Card. Pay with points. Save your cash. Nearly blowing the roof off of the Big Dome, etong Barangay Inebra ran into a brick wall known as the San Miguel Coffee Defense. Kaya naman, etong mixers na lamang ngayon, 43-40. Magumarjan pa rin po, kasama natin si Jason Webb. Spectacular start para dito sa Barangay Inebra. Pero bigla silang na problema. Yes, yeah, spectacular start actually to the game. Remember that dunk uh, by, by Ellis to begin this game. But then, nakita nga natin, you know, things really turned around in this game. But it was a tale of two quarters. In the first quarter, it was owned by Barangay Ginebra. In the second quarter, it was owned by San Meg Coffee. Silipin natin ilan sa mga numerong magpapaliwanag kung papano nga ba nangyari yan. First quarter, it was a, that 19-5 run by Barangay Ginebra. Buti nilang nakahabol yung San Meg Coffee through guys like Marcus Blakely. You see the rebounds and the assists going the way of Ginebra in that first quarter. Big reason why they were able to keep that four-point lead in the first quarter. Moving over to the second quarter. Ito naman sa second quarter, gaya na nabanggit natin na Magu. Tale of two quarters. San Meg naman ang nakakuha ng 21 points and they limited Ginebra to only 14 points. James Yap exploded for eight. Dear Lohorn. He had six points, but he was only two out of eight. And the rest of the team, only four out of 20 from the field. And finally, look at the rebounds. A seven uh, rebound edge on the part of the San Meg Coffee Mixers. Pa Pagbukas na itong third quarter of action, si Mark the Spark Kagiwa ay nasa sahig na para sa Barangay Nebra. Kasama niya si Chris Ellis, Dior Lohorn, Billy Mamaril, and L.A. Tenorio. James Yap naman may tangan ng bola. Kasama si Marcus Blakely, Alex Magliari, yan si Deo Campo, and Alain Maliksi. Acrobatic layup doesn't work. Better not to go to Yancey for the stick back. Yancey De Ocampo, his second field goal of the game. We did mention that he's going to be one of those beneficiaries of minutes. Lalo lalo na wala nga si Mark Pingris at saka si Joe Devant. Yeah. 
Ellis over to the post. Gagiwa wanting to attack Maliksi. Kicks it out. Lohorn from 18. Gets the But Dear Lohorn is actually one of those guys that uh, shoot very well from the field. He's about at 57%, same as Marcus Blakely. But in this game, it's been a struggle for him. Uh, in the first half, he was only 4 out of 14. Tandaming ang tuto ka na mintis. Let's see if he can make it up. Look at Blakely get his own miss. It's all on Dr. Lohorn once again because after that shot, he went ball watching. Did not put a body on Marcus Blakely. And Marcus Blakely is one of those guys that really want to that crash the board on the offensive end. Pero dito sa kabilang dulo, ah, eto si Blakely picks up his third personal foul. I think that's on Yancy Del Capo. Yancy ang kapitong pala. Ika-apat yan para dito kay Yancy. LA asking for it. Kagiwa goes to Lohorn on the roll. Up, up, and away. And they built that pick and roll with DR Lohorn. And they've had an alive, they've had a lot of success. Pag silang dalawa, pag si Lohorn yung kapig and roll ni LA, okay naman ni Mark. James for three. Bang! James Yap has shot very well in this game. That's his third three-pointer of the game. Ellis nilipad! Nakita niya! At the last possible second, sumabay si Blakely. Napitawa na lang yung bola. Rivas nagbabalik para nga doon sa may apat na personal foul na si De Ocampo. Inbound from the baseline, L.A. Tenori. Kagiwa tatanggap. Looking to attack. Big game change siya. Kagiwa to Ellis. Here's a three. All board. So far, defense of San Coffee has done a good job of keeping Mark Kagiwa away from scoring. Alixi couldn't dial in that three. Tenorio Metangan, a-atake, L.A. Over to Kagiwa. Kagiwa lang ng ring. Kagiwa though gets it right back. And he looks to reset this attack. Tenorio kicks it out. Ellis off the crossover. Pull up jumper. Ellis brings him to within 4.50-46. Yap contra Kagiwa The one-hander by James Trying to go glass LA with a running start now Nana si Ellis But well covered by Malik C LA through two picks Hinahanap si Tamaril Do sa ilalim He was hoping that uh, Billy Mamaril would create some separation with Marcus Blakely, but what Billy did was dinikita niya si Blakely at skin rin lang niya ba? Atong minuto mahigit na lumilipas sa ating ikatlong yunto. Ito na si Malyari. Over to James. How long three once again? Okay, Debra will have the ball. Nagulas ay tungo si Lohorn. Sama pa si Rivas. Now they get it over to him. Before that dunk, before the pass, and the foul. One pass, really. One of the guys at Tetong Barangay never really missed in the first half because he was saddled with foul trouble is Willie Wilson gets another chance here in the second half. No horn and Rivas, Pakmagan sa Pistuan, Kagiwa unleashes one. What a tough shooting day para dito kay Mark Kagiwa. Malyari to Blakely. So double team ng hilaw, ito si Tenorio. Blakely puts it up, no. Alabas ang bola in favor of Sammy Coffey. Second time around that we've seen yung defender ni Marcus Blakely failing to put a body on him on the offensive glass and that has led to two extra possessions for the side make off para maalaman natin kung ano nga ba mga napagkwentuhan at the half makibalita tayo kay Eric As per Coach Jeff, they need to start better this second half dahil masama daw ang naging entrada nila noong first quarter. He added that they were a little lucky because Dior missed a lot of easy shots. Kaya naman, third quarter onwards, Titan defense is needed para mag-try As per Coach Jeff, the same thing, defense is key but have to move quicker. They're not too worried as long as
Some SBC shots will go through at the back of the one because they ended their huddle with a prayer. Alex Aino. Thank you, Erica. Take a drop for Coach Atoy in this second half. Offensive rebounds. They're just giving away too many offensive rebounds. But if you Sasan McGuffey, it's already led to seven second chance points in this quarter alone. That three point play completed now gives Sam McGuffey their oh, yeah. largest lead in the game. It's fine now with Mark Kagiwa. Ball will remain with Inebra. Kagiwa <laughs> against Ya. They go deep. Lowhorn spinning to the baseline. Overshoots. Another shot for Inebra. He's got to find a way to get Mark Kagiwa going. So far, he's here to out of six in this game. Genorio puts his head down. Goes his hand rather. Blakely on a two-on-two. Two. Kagiwa to beat. Blakely is fouled. No count on that follow-up jam. Two shots for the game. Two on one way. As we've been mentioning all game long, Blakely on in the open court, you'd rather really foul him if you're about to gain him. That's the best thing you can do. You can't give him the two points. You make him earn him from the free throw line. It's a rarity that for us to see him actually make both free throws. Blakely makes him pay. Sa pagkakataon na ito, at ganun ganun lang, siyang na ang abante ng mga magkakape. Nelly Statangat couldn't pull the trigger. Maliksi talking to him while defending him. They go to Lohorn for the long two. Dior delivers. Shooting by the Dior Dior Lohorn here in the third quarter. He's getting his points from the outside, Jason. And he it about 17 feet in, you know, it's a decent shot. He gets into trouble once he starts shooting a three-point shot. Lohorn rebound, Ellis Lilipad. Ellis gets his own miss, takes the shot of a foul. Open court is just the place where Ellis wants to play. Does miss that original shot, but just ball lands right in front of him. Able to get his own second chance opportunity. Skyline bonus, Wilson though, keeps it alive, gotta pass it to the ball man. Yup, to Blakely. Gets the basket, take a summary foul. He is the gap up, okay, good job. Now the officials will be reviewing that last piece of action as Blakely crashed down to the floor. At the minimum, it's a personal foul on Kagiwa. Another fast break for Adito. Sasan McGuffey, every time they've run, they have scored. So regular foul whistled on Mark Kagiwa. He was going for the ball, though. I think he's going for the foul. <laughs> you get to try to foul him as close to the ball as possible. Problema, nakakuha pa niya yung basket. Ngayon, may bonus pang parating. Wow, that's a really great mula kay Marcus Blakey. That gives Sanmig another 8-point lead, 58-50. Less than 6.5 remaining in quarter number 3. Ellis stop the key. Goes to Magiwa. Mark looking for Lohorn, taken away by Blakely. Sammy on the run. Blakely on the move, see now so far, the one Right now, again, he never get into, getting into one of its funks. Gaya yung nakita natin in the second quarter, na dami nila pinapo na bola. And every time they turn the ball over or they don't take a good shot, it's that big coffee, very willing to run and push the basketball. Nagiwa on play up, Tutake Ellis. Denario waiting for that pick from Wilson. LA has Blakely and Barocco on him. LA bobbles, recovers. LA's in trouble. Choose for time. And Barangay Nebra will have only two. A 30 second timeout. Two seconds to shoot Baradita, say Nebra.
this 30 second timeout I think they're going to they're gonna ask them to make the full timeout mandatory timeout time tayo so gagawin ng full timeout to with Sammy up by 8.50 8.50 Silipin muna natin ang ating Rig Zone of Men Power Rebound brought to you by Rig Zone of Men with 50% more long passing protection so you can do more. San Coffee up by 8 at this juncture of the game. Barangay Inebra has 2 seconds to try and come up with a shot. They lob it up to Wilson. Quick release. No, no horn is there. Put back is good. Okay, he never needed those two points. He needed just to stop the beat. You can feel that Sunday Coffee is the one that is trying to get or, or has the momentum at the moment. At the onset of this game, halatang halatang kami Mr. Sanmi, si Mark Pingris as well as Joe Devans. But at this juncture, Jason, they have battled back, they have taken control, and they have gotten the breaks. Yeah, it's a lot of breaks right their way. And the thing with Sunday Coffee, yes, they are missing two of their guys that are good post defenders but Ginebra doesn't really have the personnel to hurt you even if you don't have guys that will that will destroy at the post the only guy that can do it is Lohorn he's done his share but he doesn't have help likely against Lohorn no go on that attempt El Epinario leading the run slopping on a dime LA will reset LA looking to make a pay out of that 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 you realize about L.A. Tenorio, he's a feel guy. Once he feels the confidence oozing, he will push it. Starts off with just a magical move here. Everyone looking the other way except L.A. Tenorio. He finishes with style and just able to create in the end is L.A. Big Dog Inahanap na natin ang ating mga ulala mahal na masa fans of the day Mula sa masarap malaman, mura at kind convenient kasi easy to open Ulalam ready to eat ulam para sa masa, mahal na masa Ulalam, 15 pesos lang The hair Ang na-anime rin yung buhok ni Kuya As San Mc Coffee pressured to make a basket here to stop this Aragay Ginebra run Blakely still managing the two points wonderful body control because Kita Natin Dundee or Lohorn willing to sacrifice his body and able to stop with the air Marcus Blakely that came up for three and now a shooting game just a tough shooting game for him Sobrang alamin pa sa Tenorio recovers para sa Inabra it's a ball on three Nagiwa to Lohorn Points for the DR Lohard and in this quarter, hardly missing. Mark Kagiwa now with six assists in this contest. Blakely, three for the three. Lohard and Davis battling for it. Jump ball and Tabago. Blake, let's see. Ano, ah? Lohard and Rivas still having some words for each other. Lohorn manages to get it over to Kagiwa. Barangay Nebra can shoot for the lead on this offensive. Wilson Huli! He's a guy that just has so much effect on both ends of the court. Speaking of Blake. Tenorio though will a steal and the heads up late to bounce it off Acuna. Now Acuna entered this game all of a sudden. He noticed his arrival with that turnover and LA able to complete that steal. Aguila on the move, jumps it out. Wilson to Tenorio. LA stopping on a dime. 
and will earn for himself a trip to the line. Hey, look at LA Tenorio, and it's evident that he enjoys playing for Barangay Ginebra. Iba yung gabi, no? Dati, enjoy na enjoy siya. Pagkalaban niya Barangay Ginebra, ngayon natutuwa siya na nandito na sa likod niya yung mga galamay ng Barangay. Tenorio takes care of us as we take a look at this full-time strong drive. Ano pa nga ba? Kung hindi sisilipin natin ulit yung magical layup ni Teniente kanina-kanina. Brought to you by Photon. Empower your business. Pwede yung taxi driver. Pag sa traffic at didiscarte yung taxi driver. Dapat ganun ang forma as we send it over to Erika. Sa larong ito, inconsistency is not what he is. After all, kailangan lang daw ni L.A. ang tamang momentum para magtuloy-tuloy ang buenas kapag nakakashoot. He's really been doing his best at every opportunity. Dahil the goal is to really get a championship for Barangay para maidagdag sa iba pang achievements with Alaska and the national team. Balik sa inyo. DJ Simone in all kinds of trouble and it was Blakely still managing a way to put up the two points. And Marcus Blakely is the guy that's keeping the Don San Mig coffee afloat. Same thing on the other side naman. It is L.A. Tenorio. 25 puntos na para kay Blakely. Elker Brand over to Wilson. Nakita na si Tenorio. Two-minute warning ng ating third quarter. L.A.'s in trouble. L.A. almost lost it. Pero two seconds na lang sa kailang shot clock. They gotta go quick once again. Malik sila kay Wilson. Napitawan ni Willi Ipola. I don't think that block of Marcus Blakely earlier did not cross his mind. Kung nakuha na yung bola, it just makes you change your shot. Nagpamadali ka dahil nakita mo kanina, libre-libre ka lang, nakahabol pa. Baroka, back over to Blakely. Low horn on him, they go to Baroka, top of the key. Mark puts it on the floor, the tear ball is done! Outside shot has not been working for a Mark Baroka, but that time around, able to get to the paint. Denorio back pedals eight to work with para sa Inebra Denorio in traffic good luck by Nathan Kibliki now in the Nasa Sion TJ overseas pero natin na siya kung niya Maroka kiti mo is fouled no basket on that shot the, the, the problem starts again but I think it's a game never when they run that pick and roll and it's not it, it looks, it, it import as a Dior Lohorn you can see that Marcus Blakey just stayed with LA Tenorio because he's not afraid that uh, na kung pumunta yung bola doon sa Billy uh, Wilson in that case see right here when that pick and roll runs you, uh, Marcus Blakey just stays there because they're not afraid of the offense of Willie Wilson. That forces LA to, to create more than what he has, and that uh, allows it to send Mick Coffey to get out of the fast break. 66-61, San Mig. Ups their lead back up to five. Tenorio gets a breather. Urbiston do muna ang pumalit sa kanya. Critical juncture para sa Barangay Ginebra. Last time that they had this lineup, they really struggled and then gave up what was once a huge lead. Wilson, finding a way. To cut this deficit to three, seven points in total para kay Willie. Just over half a minute remaining in this third quarter. Malik C is in trouble. Taken away by Ellis. Napakaparado sa sideline. Ito na si Chris. Even before he got that pass off. So there's going to be a 5.1 second differential between the quarter clock and the shot clock. But if we stun the clock reaching in, that'll be team foul number five para sa Inebra. No more to give penalty na sila. It's not a good foul because there was actually a bigger shot differential earlier. Actually, it's still the same. DJ attacking the baseline. Ellis keeping it step with him. PJ Simon, family. Good idea on the part of PJ Simon. Dal alam niya si 
at least gigil na gigil manupalpal eh. But then, he's able to shuffle his feet. 12.6 for Barangay Nebra to try and come within one, maybe even tie it up with a three. Let's see what they do. Helterbrand now has four seconds to work with. JJ puts it on the floor. He fades away. No good. Adyan magtatapos ang unang tatapot anim na minuto ng action. 66-63 is your score. Sam McCoffey magbabaon ng three points. Inside the big dome sa magbubukas ng fourth and final quarter. Bumalik daw ang tama neto ni Luis Alfred Tenorio. Yung back-to-back losses nila, no? Napakasama ng kanyang naging shooting. Pero in their previous win, kita mo naman, Jay, 18-7-14 ang kanyang binanat doon. And here tonight, he has kept Barangay Nebra dangerously close to San Miguel. Even if you know, I think the, that field goal shooting, the purple field goal shooting is overstated. Because even if he didn't shoot that well, he was averaging... More than seven rebounds and close to seven assists as well. So that's no problem. You look at what he does. He does everything at the moment para dito sa Barangay Hinebra. And he's done this all conference long. He's close to, he's, he's, at, he's about at eight rebounds. It's over nine assists so far per ball game. So you can, you can have some bad days in terms of field goal shooting. But overall, he's been the best player para sa Hinebra. At in this conference. LA continues to get that breather on that Tinebra bench as they start with Urbistondo, Helterbrand, Wilson, Lowhorn, and Ellis. Helterbrand with a sneaky shot. Gets them within one. Very important para sa Barangay Hinebra to get other guys involved in scoring. Today's game, you, Bart Kagiwa has struggled. They've got nothing, got in nothing as well from Mac Barafael. A lot of their regular guys that scored, wala sila nakukuha so far. Acuna getting the start here in the fourth. Nothing but board. Kasama si Namaliksi, Baroka, De Ocampo, and Simon. JJ, surveys, puts it up. No. Rebound battle, Baroka prevails. It's a three-on-one. Baroka looking to jump into Ellis. And he picks up the personal foul. Baroka takes care of the first as we invite everybody to get your own Petron Value Card. Petron Value Card, pay with points, save your cash. Lohart's gonna get in his two, three minutes of rest here. And he actually had two minutes in which he was on the court. Tapos wala naman si Marcos Blakely, but he never unable to have to gain, in, gain into or cut into that lead of San Miguel So you expect that Blakely will come in earlier than Lohart, and that's gonna be the critical part of this fourth quarter. Jay, isa pang uh, tanong dito, saan manggagaling opensa ng Ginebra? Kagiwa, Tenorio, and Lohart all on the bench. Pamaril. Looking for Ellis, the pull-up jumper. Couldn't deliver. Helter Brand on the follow is fouled. JJ's played well. He's actually uh, you know, that one of those guys that has really helped the scoring of Kinebra today. You might say he's only at five points, but it's the five points have been have been spread out into the first quarter and the fourth quarter, and he has shot fairly well. Send it over to Eric. JJ refers that they're picking up from a good game they had against Alaska. Kahit natalo, malaki daw ang improvement ng kanilang chemistry kay sa gitna ng three losses. Sabi niya, he's excited every game. We get to do what we love for a living with tremendous support from fans. Kaya kailangan daw, the excitement and edu energy must never die down. Balik sa inyo. Thank you, Erica. JJ misses. 68-65. Wow, score. wow not outplayed. It's not the first time. Bistondo, that's not the first time that he's failed to go down on defense as a point guard. That's your number one priority to make sure that you're the guy there on defense. But Barangay Nebra will have to ride Urbistondo for now as we take a look at the Hinebra bench. Mina Masahina, yung binti ni L.A. Tenorio. Battling some slight cramps, maybe. Pero ito, he's being redeployed. Sabay na rin papasok sa D.R. Lohorn. As we take a look at this Kawasaki rousing fast break. Off the miss free throw. Walang nakakita na nag-iisa na dito. Si Simon brought to you by Rouser 135 by Kawasaki. Rouse the rider in you. 
you look at the difference between in the two guards that just changed, Joshua Bistondo and LA. LA very, very comfortable in the 11 uniform. Or Bistondo has struggled ever since, since he's done that uniform. DJ Simon has been making a living off getting clean layups. Eight points in total for him. Para Kael, contra dito kay James, they go to Mamaril underneath, bounces it to Lohan, but the top Lohan hanging in the air, inaantay niyang mawala si Yancy sa line of sight niya. That's already four blocks. Bumaba na nga si Yancy, ang problema, meron namang papanik na Marcus Blakely. As Mark Aguiwa is also back on the floor, was fouled on that last sequence. Ang Barangay Hinebra po, ang susunod na laro, September 14 contra Rain or Shine. Tapos they round out their schedule against Global Port on the 20th and then Talking Tech sa 22. San Mig Coffee naman. Ngayong Tuesday, ang susunod na laban nila, Alaska ang kanilang makakatapat September 10 before taking on Baraco on September 14 and Meralco on September 20. Mark Aguila only his fourth point and in today's game, still no field goal. Zero out of seven so far. Simon leans in. He's in double digits. Tying his best scoring performance of the Governor's Cup. But there's a huge difference. If you look at the, the contribution of the, the guards of uh, San Nicoffi, Peter Junsimon, James Yap, compared to Barangay Hineva, their guards, their off guards, have struggled today. Right on cue, Kagiwa misses once again. Mamaril and the guy picking up the foul. Malyari, ibinalik na ni Coach Tim Cohn para dito kay Baroka. Seventy four sixty seven Sanmig Abante by seven points. Elbow jumper. Yancy makes it nine. Forced to call a timeout because you, at this point everything that San Mig Coffee is doing is working. Para naman sa barangay Hinebra, they look like they're a step slow here. And remember, their key men have actually had to play more minutes than the key men of uh, San Mig Coffee. You mentioned it earlier, mas maaga nakapahinga. Itong import ng San Mig Coffee, even LA did not get that much of a rest on the bench kasi lumolobo yung kalamangan. Witness hard-hitting MMA action sa PXC 39. Ah, harapin ni Mark Mugen Strugel, si The Beast, Yang Yong Kim para sa featherweight title. September 14 po yan, alas 8 ng gabi sa Inares Sports Arena, Pasig City. Buy your tickets now, mapapanood din sa Action TV kinabukasan at 15 ng Setyembre, alas 9 ng gabi. 76-67, Barangay Nebra in front of more than 15,000 fans goes to Barakael. He obliges by burying that three. First field goal para kay Mac Barakael. He said that they needed to get something more from that wing spot. He, like you said, he obliges. Ball remains with Sanmig. Last touch daw si Mamaril. 14 seconds pa sa kanilang shot lang. Malyari contra Tenorio gets it over to James Yap. Finding Blakely. He will shoot to the line for two shots. Yung hindi pa pala rin sa ball game na to, Jason, you already mentioned it earlier, will be going down to 2-4, pareho pong 2-3. Etong mag nagtutunggali sa gabing ito. And that gives them a tie for 8th and ninth spot. It's going to be a long climb into the playoffs. Last two teams, they will get el eliminated, so... Right there, you're looking at Global Court to tie for that 8th and ninth spot. But I believe, is it Hinebra that still has a chance to play Global Court? And they play Global Court on the 20th. Matapos ng assignment nga nila sa Rain or Shine. Tenorio on the move. Will backpedal to the three-point line. Couldn't send it home. Kagiwa ends up giving up the foul. <laughs> That's a score 13 from the 78 78-70, Sanmig by 8. It'd be huge for Sanmig Coffee if they hang on. 
they get Joe Devance on Tuesday against Alaska and then Mark Pingris will be back on the 14th contra Barranco Bull just, yeah, just not falling Mark Kagiwa had a very good game in their last outing but today Timeout mo na dito si Coach Ato Agustin as they try and regroup down by 8 points. Good news, bad news tayo, Jason. Mark Kagiwa having one of the worst performances we've seen from him in a while. Pero yun yung bad news. Pero ang good news, para sa Inebra, they're only down by 8 points. Yeah, they're still in this game despite that. Sapit can come up with a big basket here. They go to Blakely. Lowhorn trying to keep in front of him. Blakely spinning, losing, recovering. Blakely, put up a Lowhorn. Mamarel almost lost it. Tenorio picks it up. He goes over to Baragayel. He launches from deep. Doesn't work. Eli Tenorio is there to save the possession. Lowhorn underneath. Puts it up. And is fouled. Just a shade over seven minutes remaining in this edition of the Inyong Manila Classico. Lohorn already 20 and 16 in this contest. They'll need a little bit more. He misses on the first three throw. Pag-inig muna tayo sa balita ni Erika. Hindi pa masyado nakakapag-deliver si Mark Kagiwa kaya naman sa Hodel umiiling-iling siya dahil sa malamang na pagkapikon sa sarili. At natapos ang Hodel with LA shouting reminding everybody to execute. Balik sa inyo. Thank you Erika. So tulong-tulong na sa Hodel pati si Eli. Ano? Wanting everybody on the same page. 78-71. It is Sandvik by 7 points. Okay, never changing up their defense. They're 2-3 zone right now. Let's see, Sandvik goes to the wings. Just jab the overshoot. So Mark, second air ball para dito kay in this game. Well, he shot well in terms of field goal percentage, but he's had some bad misses as well. Denorio being bothered by Alex Magliari. He resets with Mamaril. LA in trouble. Where will he go? Out to Kagiwa for three. Ayo Parem. As a whole, Parangay Ginebra has struggled from three point range. They are three out of 14 from the from three point area. Coming up on six minutes remaining. Sam McCoffey looking to deliver the killer blow. Wala na pong limat kalahati na titira sa bakbaka na ito. Lohorn contra Rivas gets it over to Kagiwa. 0 for 10 from the field is the spark. 0 for 11. Lohorn is there over the stick back. Uh, he, he's worked hard. Speaking of DR Lohorn, 25 points. Tagad mo pa yan ng 17 rebounds at the moment. And brings in Abrato within four. How will San Miguel respond? They go to Yap. He's thrown up two air balls from right around that spot. This time he gets it over to Blakely. Simon lines it up. Couldn't send it home. Lohorn with his 18th rebound of the game. 2 3 zone of Barangay. He never has had some amount of success here. Tenorio on the move. He's in traffic. Nagtinikling pa sa baseline. He gets it right back from Kagiwa. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Tenorio trying to decide what to do. Stopping on a dime. LA, the looper doesn't work. Rebound battle. Nakanino. It ends up with Tenorio. Blakely's on the floor. And LA looks to reset this attack. I get apat na minuto natitira. Parangayal for three. Would have been huge. That would have rocked the big dome. But it's, uh, 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 but since they missed, it was a draining possession para sa Barangay Inebra. And Alex Magliari. We see a lot of players. Nararamdaman na yung pagod sa puntong ito because this game has been played with so much intensity. 
3.53 remaining in this game. 30-second timeout requested by Coach Tim Cohn. As we remind everybody that starting this season, new players are required to apply for the draft to be eligible to play in the PBA D-League. The first ever PBA D-League rookie draft is set on September 19, 2013. The deadline for submission of application is September 12th at the PBA office at 186 Vegas Avenue and Salibis, Quezon City. San McCoffey with possession, sitting on a four-point lead, less than four minutes remain. Simon Metangan, being bothered now by Tenorio. They get it over to Yap on that right side. Three to shoot, para si San Mik. Yap's got to go. Long two, rattles home. Everything back to normal. Four chains, Yap, after two air balls. Makes actually the most difficult of the three shots he's taken. Lamaril. Puts it on the floor. Billy Mams all the way to the hole. Big bonus there to get points from Billy Mamarill at this stage of the game. That keeps San Mig just four points ahead. Yap na naman ang para Barakael bantay niya. Now they swing it around. Baroka against Mamarill. He's got the speed. Tap up again. Kagiwado loses it to two defenders. Now he never will keep possession as PJ Simone ran out of space. Maliksi nagbalik para dito kay PJ Simon. Tenorio di discarte down by four points. Less than three minutes remaining in this game. Tenorio is pass. Pumalik din sa kanya. They go to Lowhorn. Lowhorn with a jump punk. And he never is within two. Now it's the Dior Lowhorn and LA Tenorio show right now for Barangay Hinebra for actually the entire game. Maliksi called off the bench. Looking for Baroka. They go to Blake. They knock in the Rivas. Will have to earn his points from the line. Good cut on the part of Rafi Rivas. Realizing that the defense of Barangay Inebra, there was an imbalance because two people went to Marcus Blakely. Good ball side cut on his part. Rivas takes care of the first. This to stretch their lead to four. Rivas cans it. Less than two and a half remaining in this game. Big free throws there in the shoot that does Rafi Rivas. Kagiwa has yet to hit a field goal in this contest. Gets it over to Tenorio. Will he look for Lowhorn once again? Lowhorn supposed to attack Rivas. Dito si San Mikovi. He's been unstoppable right now because, yes, Rafi Rivas is longer. Pero konting bangga lang, he's able to get enough space. Steps into this one, gets those two points. The complimentary players of San Mig Coffee coming up with big points. Rafi Rivas, two points earlier. Now about Mark Baroka. Menorio picked up his dribble, gets it over to Kagiwa. They go back to Lohor, Nando de Simaliksi para tumulong. Yeah, they've, they've, they've become smart to it. They know that right now he's the only guy that has consistently beaten them outside of LA Tenorio. Kagiwa catch and shoot. Kagiwa, Dilawa pa rin. Pero merong foul. What a day. What a day para kay Mark Kagiwa. He, he can't believe it himself. <laughs> Ang tagal lang tumayo ni Kagiwa. Parang pati ba naman yun? Ayaw pa nga higupin ng ring? Mark Kagiwa, all four of his points from that free throw line. A chance to bring them to within two. Kagiwa makes sure the first. The 
Two for two para dito kay Kagiwa. We got a two-point ball game. Jason Sanmig looking to stretch it to a two-possession lead. They go to Blakely. Kasama si Maliksi, Maroka, Ravis, and James Yap. Maroka tatanggap. Steps into another jumper. Maroka back to back. Huge jumpers para kay Mark. He's finally rewarded. He's played well all game long on the defensive end. Now he's being rewarded by getting some points on the offensive end. Kagiwa to Mamaril. They go to Barangayel. No. Rebound battle. Blakely. Watch out. The ball. Marcus Blakely with a huge jam. 30 big points, Jason. Para dito kay Blakely. San McCoffey now up by five with only 69 seconds remaining in this game. At this point, Barangay Ginebra is the team that can't make any stops. Second time around that nakita natin na nakashoot ang San McCoffey in that play and then a bad miss leading to a fast break for Marcus Blake. If San McCoffey can hang on to this victory, how huge is that playing without being in Joe Devance? It, it, with such a short tournament and you think that right you have or you've lost two of your best five players you have to give it to the rest of the guys who suddenly make coffee to be able to at least seemingly I mean very close to getting a victory today as we remind everybody na bukas po may NCAA na naman sa San Juan Arena ang Jose Rizal magkakalaban ng San Beda alas 4 ng hapon bago yung bakbakang Arellano at San Sebastian and then on Tuesday Derecho ang inyong Philippine Basketball Association Rainer Shine contra Barako Bull Energy Cola sa alas 5 ng hapon tapos Alaska contra San Mick naman sa alas 7.30 ng gabi Quick turnaround para dito sa San Mick Coffee Mixers But They are not done here a minute and nine to try and keep Hinebra from overcoming this 5 point deficit Kagiwa gets it to Tenorio Barako on and they go to Mamaril where will Inebra go? Mamarillo is being bothered here. Blakely ending up giving up the foul. Penalty na. Magkabilang ko po na. Misses on that first. Ends up being a good foul on the part Marcus Blakely. Mamaril, both flanks. Yep, with a big rebound. And Sam McCoffey will start to waste away the time. I think he fouled Blakely at this point. You gotta foul him. Yeah, because he's shooting 30 plus percent from the free throw line. Maracayel deciding to play Blakely honestly. Now you can't follow him anymore because you've wasted too much time on the clock. Ball is loose. But Goes that, out of bounds. At that point, you got an opportunity to put a 30% free throw shooter with just taking out about 6 seconds from their shot clock. 30 second timeout requested by Coach Ato Agustin. Last time around, the ball ended up with Billy Mamaril. Where will he go now? Barangay Nebra playing without that frontline rotation of Chapit Aguilar and Kirby Raimundo. Titingnan mo, pareho silang nasasaktan doon sa, you know, for not having players that are available for them. But now they need a big shot. They go to Tenorio. Paracael will launch a three. No. Rebound. Nakuha ni Blakely. And they should do it. Sam McCoffey will survive.